Nearly 16 million American adults have chronic backaches, pain that cannot be easily relieved by medication or even physical therapy. In some cases, surgery does nothing. So there's a new option now. It's a tiny implant called a spinal stimulator, and it can help give some patients their lives back. News 9's Robin Marsh has more in today's Medical Minute. 64-year-old James Maharder spent 17 years in excruciating pain. We got hit from behind and sent into some other vehicles. Five cars rolled and rolled. Three back surgeries provided no relief, and he was on pain medication 24 hours a day, including morphine, oxycodone, and fentanyl. People would be pinning notes on me because they came to the house couldn't wake me up. James told his doctors he wanted to find another way out to manage the pain. Doctors at Duke suggested a spinal stimulator. It's just kind of another tool in your pocket that a patient can use to help decrease their pain. The spinal stimulator looks like a pacemaker with two wires attached. There are leads that are placed in the epidural space and it's sending an electrical impulse um, down into the area of the spinal cord. Surgeons implant the device mainly in the lower back. The device targets the nerves that process pain while the patient controls the strength of the signal with a remote. I have a wireless charger that I have to hold against my hip every couple weeks to charge me up a little bit. Now James says he barely needs any medication at all. Couldn't do this before. I'm trying to gain back things that I thought I never would do again. And for the first time in years, James is actually going camping. And before doctors permanently implant the device, they do have to go through a five to seven day training to make sure it will work. For today's Medical Minute, I'm Robin Marsh.